The Real Deal Boxing, the promotional entity of Evander Holyfield's Real Deal Sports and Entertainment, presented an outstanding 10-bout card Thursday night, October 19 from Atlanta, Georgia telecast nationally on CBS Sports Network. The event was part of a full fight week of activities celebrating Holyfield's induction to the International Boxing Hall of Fame this past June along with his 55th birthday on Thursday. In front of a packed house at the historic Georgia Freight Depot in downtown Atlanta, featherweight contender Toka Khancly of Providence, Rhode Island improved to 231 with 16 knockouts dropping David Berna three times en route to a stunning second round 132 stoppage. With the victory fast rising, Khancly won his fourth straight bout while Berna of Budapest, Hungary suffered his first defeat with his record moving to 131, 12 KOs. With the victory, Khancly also earned the vacant WBA and ABA featherweight title. Co featured on the stellar card, Mario L. Triterator Diaz of Aguascalientes, Mexico, improved to 171, 7 KOs with a seventh round stoppage. 0 3 2 of former world title challenger Rayonta Stingray Whitfield, 282, 15 KOs in their scheduled 10 rounder. The hard-hitting Diaz, who has now won 15 bouts in a row, proved to be the effective aggressor and had Whitfield in a wealth of trouble in the 6th and 7th rounds before the stoppage. Diaz was awarded the vacant WBC Continental America's featherweight title with the win. In an outstanding battle of undefeated cruiserweights prospects, newly signed to the Real Deal Boxing's deep stable, Joshua Temple, 60, 4 KOs, of St. Louis, Missouri won a sensational six-round unanimous decision over previously undefeated Brian Daniels, 51, 3 KOs, of Worcester, Massachusetts. Scores were 6,054 and 5,955 twice. In an action-packed six-round junior lightweight prospect clash, Ray Lightning Jr. Lampkin of Portland, Oregon improved to 110 with four knockouts with a unanimous decision over Washington, D.C.'s Joshua Davis, 112, 5 KOs. Scores were 6,053 twice and 5,855. Lampkin drilled Davis to the canvas in round three with a big left hand to the chin but the Valley and Davis fought back throughout the second half of the fight. Featured on the CBS Sports Network telecast were International Boxing Hall of Famer Barry Tompkins, two-time world champion Polly Malinaji and the nationally known ring announcer Dave Diamante. Opening the event, Justin the Brooklyn Torch Biggs, 10, 1 co, made his highly anticipated professional debut with a stunning first-round knockout of Kendall Batts, 0-2. Oh, a battering right hand to the jaw closed the show at the 0-3-6 mark of the initial stanza. J-A-N-E-L-S-O-N Boca Chica Figueroa of Detroit, Michigan left a huge impression with a first-round stoppage of 5-4 of Jeremiah Page, 35, 2 KOs of Wichita, Kansas. Page was dropped twice before his corner stopped the bout. Boynton Beach, FL's Lawrence Newton moved to 80 with six knockouts stopping valiant Jesus Rojas, 231, 1 KO, of Columbus, Ohio. Rojas was knocked down twice before the second-round stoppage, 253. Marchese Moore of Colorado Springs, Colorado continued his reign of success in the super middleweight division with a first-round knockout of Zachary Bunce 23, 1KO. Moore improved to 60 with four knockouts. In the lightweight division, Carlos Dixon of Louisville, Kentucky improved to 20 with one knockout with a four-round majority decision over Archie Wea, 19 of Norcross, GA. Scores were 4,036 and 3,838 twice. Rounding out the card in a four-round middleweight clash, Jamal Brady, 20, 1 KO, of Matthews, NC won a round unanimous decision over Georgius Clay Harvison, 41, 1 KO. Scores were 4,036 twice and 3,937. Real Deal Sports Entertainment is proud to partner with Medical Arts Radiology www.medicalartsradiology.com and Venheim www.venom.com. Superior Plumbing was a proud sponsor of this event.